Okay, so in this demonstration we're going to be dealing with uh, describing the data in terms of, of various um, descriptive statistics that we can use, whether it be the, the average, the median, the standard deviation, some of those basic statistics that are quite useful to look at the data. And what I'm going to do, just to give myself a bit of room, is I'm going to insert some observations, or sorry, some rows above the, the, the data set. And to do that, I'm just going to select about 10 rows or so, right click, press insert, and you'll notice that it shifts the data down so that we can have a little bit more room to do this um, analysis. And I might have a couple of things that I want to look at. So maybe the average, maybe the median, the standard deviation, uh, the number of observations I have, the minimum, the maximum. These are key um, basic statistics we might use. So in Excel, one way to do this is to use the key functions that are built in. If I press in equals, and the key word I'm after is the average, type that in, open up the bracket, and now I want to tell Excel where that data is. I can tell it starts at D13 and just scroll down, and I can scroll right down to the end very quickly. I can use my mouse, or I can use um, control, shift, arrow down, and that gives me the uh, array of data that uh, I'm looking at, which is the average starting salary. And it's in D13 to D392. So there it is, that's the average starting salary for these graduates. And we can change the format for this, we can reduce the number of decimal places, we can make it dollars if that's really what we want to do, all these different things are available to us. And what I might do is just copy that down, but notice that when we start copying that down the referencing starts changing, so what I'm going to do is just fix that referencing with absolute referencing versus relative referencing. I'm going to use a relative reference for the rows. If that's something you're unsure of, you can look at some of the other videos that we have. So I'm just going to copy that down. And I can start changing the keyword. Most of the keywords are pretty uh, stock standard relative to what you're after. The median is the median. The, the count of number of observations, use the word count. The minimum is just M, I, N. And if you're unsure about any of these functions that, are, that we might have available uh, to, to us in Excel, and the last one here is standard deviation, if you're unsure about any of these functions, you can always go into the help. Okay, so there's a whole lot of things here. If I type in the word uh, standard deviation, let's see what it brings up. Standard deviation, you've got lots of different types of standard deviation. You've got database standard deviations, standard deviation, uh, standard deviation population. So we've got different types uh, and, and depending on what you're after one might be more applicable. I'll deal with the two basic ones for instance with standard deviation. The standard deviation that I've got at the moment is using the word STDV. So let's just click on that and what does it say? It says that it's calculating the standard deviation uh, we're using all these different numbers. You can click on the help and it brings up the help and it says it's based on a sample. Well, let's say that we wanted to know the standard deviation based on the population. So let's just close that. Well, the standard deviation for the population is to use STDVP. Open and close the brackets there. And notice that that number is slightly different for the population versus the um, sample. Okay, so that's quite uh, what, that's one way of calculating uh, basic summary statistics for, for data and we can copy that across for our various observations, uh, various variables that we have there. But what's another way that we can do that? We can use the data analysis tool pack and what we can do is we can select data, data analysis and here it is, we've got descriptive statistics is what we're after. There's a whole lot of other things that are available in the tool pack but we're interested in descriptive statistics. Let's press OK. The input range, well let's just say to Excel that we want to use the starting salary, the experience required, the firm size. And let's just select that data that we have. It runs from D12 to F392. And we want to tell it that in that first row, we've actually got in D12, first the row 12, is we've got the variable names or the labels is what Excel refers to it. So just tell Excel that that's what you've got in the data. By clicking that and you can tell Excel where to stick the output where to place the output so I'm just going to push it over here 
and just see what it does. So I'm going to put it in N2 and we want to tell it to create our summary statistics. So let's press OK. And let's see what it did. And you can see what Excel does is for each of the variables, it's created the, the mean, the standard error, the median, the mode, a whole lot of range of basic summary statistics that you might find useful. And you can see that they correlate with our original statistics that we had available before. So for instance, when we're looking at the average, $57,507, $57,507. The median of $57,300 and median of $57,300. So those descriptive statistics match up with the, uh, using the functions uh, that are inbuilt to Excel. So hopefully that gives you a couple of ideas of how to summarize data using basic uh, descriptive statistics.